This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, we will create a colorful logo animation inside of After Effects and that too without using any plugins. With that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Now, if you're watching my video for the very first time, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section below if you find this video helpful. You can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. We are very close on hitting that 100,000 followers on Instagram. So make sure you check it out. All the links are in the description below. Low. Now let's go. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with Full HD, that is 1920 by 1080. 30 fps in 10 seconds long i'm gonna call this render as a main render comp hit ok then let's create one more composition which is going to be our logo placeholder so let's type in logo and you can just simply drag any logo that you want to use i'm going to use this google logo that i have right here let's hit s and bring down the scale property at around 45 that looks good or maybe let's make it a bit more smaller like 40 percent then let's create one more new composition which is going to be um, let's call this lines or let's call this actually matte that's gonna make much more sense hit ok but yes before we hit ok make sure you change the width and height to 2000 by 2000 and then hit ok then i can double click on the rectangle tool which is going to create a rectangle basically let's go into rectangle one rectangle path one unlink this and let's set this to um let's go with something like 200 that is going to be proper or actually 400 yeah and then i can just simply go into my align tool and align that at the bottom just like that and go into effects and preset search for fill so we can color this um shape later and then i'm going to hit Control d to duplicate this and go right over here and turn on the snapping option just like so and then i can just simply select these point and drag this so it's gonna snap just like that pretty simple let's do this a couple of more times so hit ctrl d let's drag this snap it here ctrl d drag this snap it here and then finally ctrl d to duplicate it and drag it and snap it here so we have five different layers so pretty quickly i'm going to drag and drop in the google logo that i have here and i can just pick up the colors from the logo so for this one i can just hit ctrl c and paste it on the bottom one as well select the fourth one let's pick the yellow color for the third one i'll go with the bl the blue color and for the second one i'll use the green color and then i can delete the logo so we have this nice colorful square here so i'm going to zoom in a little bit and let's animate this so i'll go to around one second select all the layers hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back and then select the fifth third and first layer by holding control hold shift and drag them to the right like so and then i'm gonna select the second and fourth layer hold shift and drag them to the left so basically we have something like this pretty cool let's select all the keyframes and right click go into keyframe assistant and easy ease the keyframe so easy ease them go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle holding shift to the left like that so now we have something which looks like this so this is looking pretty nice and simple now let's go ahead and offset them by around let's go with something like five frames so i'm gonna simply select all the layers holding shift hold alt and a right square bracket to crop them up and then i'm gonna make sure i select the fifth layer first and then hold shift select the first layer go into animation keyframe assistant and sequence layer hit ok and then i can just simply drag these layers like so 
So now we have a simple offset of five frames for this animation, which looks pretty cool. Let's close them up. Let's go back into our main render comp, drag and drop in our logo composition. And below that, I will drag and drop in our matte composition. Then let's go into the track matte option and set this to alpha matte. And it's looking pretty weird because we need to bring down the scale of this matte. So I'm going to hit S, bring that down. And now, if I preview this, you can see we get this really cool animation. Now let's go ahead and play around with this a bit. So I'm going to first of all increase the size to 25%, hit R and rotate this by minus 25 degrees as well. Maybe 25 is a bit too much. Let's bring that down a little bit more. Like so, 22 looks perfect. And now we have this nice reveal. But we are not done yet. We will take this one step further. So first of all, I'm going to select the matte layer and let's go into effects and preset and search for an effect called radial blur. There we go. I'm going to hit double. I'm going to double click to add that up and I can increase the blur amount to around 50 percent. So now if I uh, actually preview this, it's going to be a bit heavy on the system, but it's going to look super duper cool. So yeah, that is actually looking pretty nice. Let's select both the layers Hit control. D to duplicate it and let's go five frames forward in time. So I'll go to five frames and let's um, offset this by five frames. Then select the matte layer. Let's delete the radial blur. And this time I will use a turbulence displace. Double click to add that up. And if I go a few frames forward, you can see we get a really interesting look here right off the bat. So the first thing that we need to do is bring up the amount way high at around somewhere around 900 should be fine. Let's leave the size at 100 and let's bring up the complexity to around 5. And now you can see we get this really interesting look. Let's let's actually hide this layer for the moment so you can see what's happening here. And if I preview this, you can see we get this really cool kind of a grungy look that I'm going for. Looks pretty nice. And then I can just simply select these two layers, hit control D to duplicate them. Let's jump to around, let's go maybe 10 frames or let's go to 15 frames actually. Let's select these two layers, hit control D to duplicate them. Let's jump to around 15 frames and I'll go a few frames forward and then we can play around with the turbulence properties. So let's bring down the amount to 500. And let's also bring down the size to around 75 and also the complexity down to two. So now first we have the reveal of the complex look and then a more subtle reveal as you can see. So it covers up in layers. All right, let's select both these layers again. Hit control D to duplicate them. Let's zoom in a bit. And this time I'm going to go at around, let's say 25 frames. All right. Let's go into turbulence displace and bring down the amount again to 300. Let's bring down the size to 20 and bring down the complexity to one. So now we have a bunch of overlays. As you can see, the complexity goes on decreasing and that is the look that I'm going for. Looks pretty nice. Also, I can actually jump into this one and let's change the displacement to bulge. So this will give us a much more kind of a look that I'm going for. Same for this one. Yep. That is looking much more abstract, I think. Pretty nice. And I can turn on the bottom one as well. So you can see we have this really nice reveal looks pretty dope now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime. Plus, they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free. For more information, check out the link in the description below. And then finally, let's duplicate this one more time. Hit Ctrl D and this time I'm going to change the layer colors to something like red so we know that it's a different layer. I'll go to around one second. Let's put this right here. 
and this time i'm gonna set the track mat to no track mat bring down the logo layer and change the track mat to alpha mat and turn on the i button for the logo so it's going to basically reveal a logo as you can see yeah this very nice reveal maybe i'll displace them uh, offset them a few frames forward so one second and five frames or something and that is going to look super cool so let's actually go ahead and preview the animation now so as you can see it looks super cool and yeah i really like the reveal the way it reveals everything and we have separate layers of complexity in that logo which is looking very very nice and one more thing one, one last thing that you can do here is first of all let's add a background so create a new solid call this bg hit ok put that below let's add a fill on this and let's give it a nice uh, dark color like this one all right and let's create a new adjustment layer and we can actually add some glow on this which is going to make things look a bit more cooler so let's add the glow let's increase the glow radius really high also make sure you're working on 16 bits you can simply hold alt and click on this small button so to switch from 8 bits to 16 bits and let's bring down the glow intensity i want it to be very very subtle looks very nice as you can see and finally i will add some noise in order to get rid of any kind of color bending so let's add some noise of around let's go with two percent and boom there we have a really nice logo reveal using some very easy technique of shape layers so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit the subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out